How dumb do you have to be to point a gun at John Kramer's head? Let's talk about it. Welcome back everybody to another video. I just got home from seeing Saw X and boy, there is a lot to talk about and a lot of just things that I don't think will ever be erased from my mind. So right before we dive in, if you are new here, consider hitting that subscribe button, letting me know that you guys enjoy the content that I put out there. Uh, but thank you guys so much for the recent love on all of the videos and the channel as well. And without further ado guys, let's get into the video. Starting with the good here. And there's a lot. The gore in this movie, you always go into a Saw movie expecting great gore and traps and all of those things. They really outdo themselves here. Some of the best in the series, honestly. I, and I, I truly mean that. I always love like the, the idea that the trap has to be related to the reason that they like what they did wrong in the first place. Um, and I just thought it was really funny. Specifically the one comes to mind, no pun intended, is when the guy has to insert the thing like the brain matter into his head and he gets no anesthetic and he was supposed to be the anest anesthesiologist i'm proud of myself for saying that word without with no error and they they do this whole thing except the little i won't say little girl but she's younger than the rest of them um she doesn't really have a thing like specifically pertaining to her but the rest of them definitely do and it's very gory and very bloody. I think the most gory one was either the brain matter one or the one where the girl had to like shimmy her leg off. That was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. I really wanna talk about the great set of characters that we get in this movie because they all, it's not just people that came to John Kramer, it's people that crossed John Kramer. And he has no mercy and it's absolutely great, but they do this thing where they like, I don't know who was in charge of like picking out how these characters would be. They all find a way to like instantly, like when they find them, they're like, oh yeah, let's make this not who this person was. You know, the young girl that seemed very peaceful and all this stuff you see taking drugs and all of this stuff. And it's really like, whoa. You really get to dive into like what their actual lives are like. And I just, I overall really like the characters that they chose for this. They all like scream their heads off and just all had like very personal stakes in it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But I, I just really enjoyed all of them. The addition of Carlo. So towards like the middle of the movie, Kramer helps a, a young boy with his bicycle named Carlos. It's a really sweet moment. And he just like, he learned, he learns to teach him Spanish. And then I don't know how, but Carlos finds his way near this place where he's holding them and doing the traps and stuff. And when they're loose, they like go out and they get him and they're gonna use him in the traps. Him and John Kramer end up like having to like solve the thing together because they put John Kramer in the trap. It's pretty like brutal and the kid survives it. The kid's no older than like 12 years old. There's no, like he's, he's 12 or younger. It's pretty brutal. I mean, you have blood like going into your mouth and your whole face and it's pretty nasty but they they both survive it and he and john kramer ends up giving him a bunch of money and just you know having like a ton of respect for him and if john kramer has respect for you then you know you've done something right <laughs> you know what i mean but i just really liked that part of me we don't usually get a lot of those kinds of parts in our saw movies so i just thought that was an interesting addition to this movie but by far my favorite thing about this movie was that we really got to understand John Kramer as a person. We always see him in these other movies as just the guy who does the traps. He's the guy who does the traps and he's just the psychopath guy, right? But you start to realize that while he does have psychopathic tendencies, everything he's doing is no worse in actuality than what the people actually have done. It's, it really just makes you think like, wow, they do deserve this. Now, don't go thinking that I'm a psychopath or anything, but it's, that's kind of what the movie is asking you to question. Are they worthy of this horrible thing that's happening to them? And remember, they didn't give the option of redemption to John Kramer. They just did the bad thing and fled. And that's something that's really just upsetting. The last thing I want to talk about is Amanda's like involvement in this and how 
the young girl that is in this, she kind of like questions doing, she's like, oh, she could have brought, got brought into this. And I kind of like that John Kramer's like, no, like she, does she have free will? Yes, then she needs to make up her mind. And she actually does end up getting out of her trap alive. But then Dr. Cecilia just kills her. And it's pretty heartbreaking because the whole rule is that if you get out of the trap, you get to live. And they were going to take her to the hospital. And I just think that that's a very, um, just a weird take. Something that it was just a very um, interesting thing to, to do in the Saw franchise. Moving on to the mixed part of this review. The final trap that they get Dr. Cecilia and her lover into just felt very anticlimactic to me. It felt like the whole movie had been building up like we want to see something happen to this lady and I'll get to that in a second but the trap of like the gas and stuff it was fine but it didn't seem like it just felt like they were against each other and it didn't feel like it hurt them enough physically you know what I mean like all the other people of course they've done bad things but she and him were like the worst of it and they got the the least bad punishment in my opinion because even when they were like fighting each other it didn't seem like they were like uh, uh, like that it just kind of felt like they were, oh, this hurts my lungs. I'm going to keep fighting. You know what I mean? It didn't, they couldn't convince me that it was worse than the other traps. Moving on to the bad. And there's only one thing I want to talk about here. That is the very ending of the movie with Dr. Cecilia. She survives by putting her head through the, like to get oxygen out of that room that she's in. And they just leave it on that. They don't really show what happens to her. Um, and that's a little disappointing because the whole movie, you're, she's the one we want to see something happen to. And I don't know if that's just because she won the game or what, but I re like for me, I was, I was waiting for something to happen to her the whole movie. I just wanted to see her put through the test to not really see her struggle really upset me. If I'm being quite honest to not see her struggle made me upset. If not for that, it probably would have given it even a little bit of a higher rating because right now it's sitting at about four out of five stars for me. But if not for that, I probably would have given it a higher rating, but I just wasn't a fan of that particular, um, idea or what they chose to go with at the ending there and then in the end credit scene they show the guy who had originally like offered or like told kramer about this procedure and well we never really get to totally see what happens with him but you can kind of make an assumption based on the trap that he's looking at needless to say he's probably gonna make the, the fake scar that he showed him not fake anymore so I thought that was pretty neat. I did I did like the end credits scene that they had in this movie. But overall, it was a really fun Saw movie. Probably one of my favorites in the series, if not my favorite. I think the Saw movies are just a, a big hit or miss. I don't really think there's a huge in-between factor there. These movies rely heavily on their, their gore and turning away factor, if you know what I mean, really to bring people in. And this movie does that but where it falls short is the very end of the satisfaction element that you wanna see this lady go through. And that's just where it fell a little bit flat for me. But let me know what you guys thought of Saw X and if you're gonna be planning on going to see it this weekend. Um, is this your favorite Saw movie? And what was your favorite trap in this movie or just in general of all time? Let me know all those things in the comments below and I will see you all in the next video. Peace everybody.